We're here today as part of Shine Week, as the largest entertainment media, to expose children to what they can do within video games with their creative heads. It's not entirely obvious to everybody how gaming can connect to, to um, prosperity in the future for the country and for young people, but it's, it's really crucial. It links to everything from mathematics skills through to music. Um, there's all those kind of backroom jobs that, that go to create games um, that, that could be future careers for young people. And my understanding is that the industry is hungry for those young people. Um, we're creating a level um, like the, the one we were playing earlier when we had to dig up the gems and we're using the different blocks to try and make it as hard as we can. It's about recognising and cherishing the talent that young people, all young people have. By the end of this session today, I hope that you'll have some knowledge about how to create a level in Boomblocks Bash Party and what it takes to be a game designer. So I've never played it before, but I sort of picked up quite, yeah, like it's quite easy to just sort of get the hang of it. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. It's a great way of giving kids an, an experience of making levels and sitting with our designers and producers on, okay, how did you do that, how did you build it, it means they get to construct something of their own. It's very exciting because you can make your own levels and if you don't like other people's levels, you can even improve them. The message to young people from an early age needs to be, uh, you think, Gaming is fantastic and glamorous, and you think physics is less fantastic and unglamorous. Well, you know, you need to start thinking about squaring that circle if you want to be one of the next generation of games developers. That's a really, you know, this is a great way to begin to plant that seed in young people's minds. Yeah. It's in the industry's interest to, to foster and develop um, the next generation of talent, and clearly it's in the government's interest too. I've been speaking to a lot of young people and they're telling me their views of what needs to be changed in specific games and I, you know, I'm telling them that they can actually do this for a living and they're actually surprised when this event is working. I think every young person's got something to offer and, and often they're told that they haven't, that they're not very, you know, they might not be top of the class, they might not be the school's senior sports person, but they've all got something that they're passionate about and, and whatever that is, they need to use that as the, as the seed that they then build their lives and their personalities on. I'd be a footballer or a game maker and now I'll be a doctor or in FIFA.